bright side, Kelso is living his best life. But his mother is not. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Grace, I'm a farmer, photographer, welder, and now a YouTuber, I guess. And today is my birthday, my 21st birthday. And more importantly, it is the first day of harvest. I just got here, dad got off work um, at two, I think, and he started cutting already. So hopefully I get some cutting time in today. I got my bag full of snacks, some Gatorade, my cute dog, and I'm ready to go. It looks like he has opened it up. What'd you get, Hat? It looks like he's opened it up. So I'm just gonna get in there and start cutting. I'm excited to try out the new Draper. Say hi, Grace. Hi. Happy birthday to me. Yeah, happy birthday, Grace. <laughs> Do. All right, better. 
separator, throttle. And off you go! Oh, since it's my birthday, September 7th, first question, do I have any birthday twins? Second question, when is your birthday? He loves to ride the tractor. And he likes to ride the combine too. The problem is, he won't get down. He's scared of heights. He shakes so bad. And I can't carry him down because he's almost as big as I am. So it's. Uh, I can't do that. But he does love to ride the tractor. So my dad is nice enough to let Hyde ride. They are currently taking the um, gray cart and unloading it on the truck. Hold up. Way, uh, the bolts are the main thing. If you'll set them out, I do appreciate it. breakdown um, one of the knife sections in the center the bolts broke on it I'm pretty sure so it's sitting sideways and um, we don't have the right bolts to fix it um, so we're this is our first time using a draper head and it's got the two knives that like cross each other Let's see if I can show <laughs> okay that'll do so the knife on the draper it's got two knives that cross each other in the middle as they're cutting and on the auger head that we used to have it was just one knife that did this well one of the sections in the middle are different than the rest because they cross each other they overlap each other and um we broke one so i'm going to get parts for that and dad's got some errands he's gonna run and then we're gonna meet back there and get it fixed Do it. 
it. that I was done for the night, but I'm on um, the last pass of this field and it's so satisfying, I just gotta show you. Look at that. Fits perfectly in there. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Hello. It's Friday. Those of you who don't know, um, 
I'll show you real quick. I'll give you a little tutorial. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, this um, spinning thing right here, that's what we call the reel. And the little spiky things on it are called fingers. Um, so basically the higher that you can run it, the better it'll be because you're not damaging the beans as much. And yeah. Also a little fit check. I got my Tucson, Arizona hoodie on. I have my muck boots on. I got a pair of Hollister jeans I've had since like middle school, so. I also have a Farmer Grace t-shirt on under this, but you can't see that, obviously. I got a hoodie on. Um, I'm a little bit nasally today, which stinks, but I've been sneezing all day. My eyes have been itchy. The inside of my nose has been itchy. It's morning. It's Saturday. Um, I kind of left yesterday. I just kind of stopped recording yesterday because, um, we had that breakdown. I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, I was looking at, I thought it was a clutch. So what was happening was the header was not coming on and the drive shafts were not turning and nothing was engaging. Um, at first I thought it was a clutch and then I realized that the clutch wasn't even trying to engage. So it was an electrical problem and um, it got dark so I just left. And I think me and dad found the issue. Let me show you guys real quick. Okay. So, if you look here, this is the beater shaft. Um, this was not turning, and the header was not even trying to engage. So, we've come to the conclusion that the sensor right there has gone bad, which then caused the beater to not run, because when this happened, I got an um, alert on my monitor that said the beater was not running to full speed. So I think when that happened, it caused the beater to stop running. And that sensor is really far away. So it is not gapped properly, but um, yeah, so we think it's a sensor. And we think that the beater not running correctly is what is stopping the header from running. So we'll see, we're gonna um, switch that sensor out. Dad went up to um, get some new guards for the header and I, he's gonna try and find a sensor. And yeah. Kelso is running free. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take the old sensor off while I wait for my dad to get back. And just let Kelso run around for a little bit. Okay, so took the sensor off right here. And then there is a wire, obviously, that hooks to the sensor that runs up here. This is it right here. It runs around, it's looped around and comes back and it hooks right here. So I'm gonna cut that zip tie off, unhook it, and pull it out, and we'll be good to put a new one on. Oh, 
Okay, so after putting the sensor on, it didn't fix it. So we got to looking and we noticed that the wiring to the brush holder looked like this. So we fixed that. Kelso's first time in the combine. You ready, Kelso? God, my hair is an accurate representation of how today has been. So, um, fix the problem, obviously. But, um, so the header works now. It's just the pins in this connector down here are, um, they're all messed up. So whenever you push it in, sometimes it'll push itself back out and all this good stuff. So my automatic header height is jacked up. My tilt is messed up. Um, it's just a big mess. So dad's pulling all the pins out right now, hoping we can get through the weekend. But um, yeah, so that's the issue we're facing now. Every time I go to like start a new pass, I have to get out and wiggle it so the header will drop. But. Okay, so yesterday after I got done cutting um, my last field, I actually ended up going to Nashville and I met up with Evelyn from New York Farm Girls and we had a fun night. But I wanted to show you guys what the issue was yesterday that was driving me nuts. The automatic header height was not working and then sometimes the reel would not work and then I had sensors going off like crazy. It was just a mess and I'm gonna show you guys what the problem was. Okay, so this right here, this is the electrical. This is what hooks onto the header, or I mean onto the combine and gives the header power. If you could see in there, if it'll focus, in there you see all those pins. Um, whenever we went to plug it in, the pins would push themselves back into the actual plug-in. So we weren't getting a good connection. Um, and pretty much anytime I made a pass and turned around and picked my header up, in order to get it to go back down automatically to the height that we had set it at, I had to get out and wiggle the wires until it started to go down. So that was a little frustrating. And then the sensor's going off. I was just frustrated. Got done with that field and called my dad and said, I'm out of here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts linked down below and check out my merch, farmergrace.com. And I will talk to you guys.
next time. Bye.